when we talk about Indian cinema, people always talk Bollywood. There's much more than Bollywood that exists. We make cinema in 23 different languages. There's a whole lot of new wave that's coming out from India. There's a Maharashtra new wave of which the leading figure is Umesh Kulkarni, who's at present here in Cinematheque. Then there is also a Tamil new wave. There's a whole lot of filmmakers from the temple town of Madurai who are making films. And it's a whole new language and new world that they have put on celluloid. There's a lot happening in India. There's a lot of new independent cinema that's coming out in India and that's going to various festivals. And what Cinema Tech has done is they've picked up some of these very interesting movies. They've picked up lots of these new movies, new voices and put them together to give introduction to the new Indian cinema that's emerging. And I think that slowly that whole expectation that Indian cinema is all Bollywood will go away if efforts like this are made by every other country, you know, what Cinematech is doing. So I think, you know, I, I would love to see the reaction of people who come in and see this whole new cinema that's coming out of India. There's also mainstream Bollywood, one or two, which is in the festival. But there's a whole lot else that is coming in. And they've made some incredible selection of like Srinivas Sundararajan, a filmmaker who with his, with his camera goes out and does things on his own entirely without with borrowing money on Facebook and social networking sites. There, there are as many as five to six films that have been made like that on a simple 7D or a 5D. And these very interesting voices were made very, very economically. You'll see a whole lot of edgy cinema also coming out of India, like Q's Gandu which is banned in India, but made in India. So a film like that will open up a lot of people's perception about what Indians are capable of, and they are breaking out. We went into this with our eyes open, as we always do. Uh, tried, wanted to find a, as diverse a program as possible, uh, genre-wise, geographically. And, and we definitely uh, managed to do that because we have films from Punjab to uh, Tamil to Calcutta to all we we have films from all over India. We represent a lot of the different languages there is, a lot of the different cultures there is, uh, and uh, there's something for everybody, I believe. Um, we are starting off with something quite unique: uh, Anurag Kashyap's Gangs of Wasaipur two films, massive films, in, in each their own right, which were premiered in Cannes. Uh, we're very fortunate to have a chance to show them both here today. You're in for not just a few hours, but a number of years of Indian <laughs> cinema. <laughs> and I can tell you, it will not be boring. It, it encapsulates six decades of a culture largely dealing with crime. I hope you enjoy the film.